So it's been a rather wet and windy few days here in Mauritius with Cyclone Imnati coming about 345 kilometres to the north part of the island. Luckily not too much damage and uh, yeah, I think we can thank our lucky stars that this wasn't any closer. So now it's back to beautiful blue skies in Mauritius. This is the best way to start the morning. Check out this. Ilabinichir just over there. Le Mans Mountain over there. This adventure takes us from our starting point, the small village of La Goulette on the southwest coast of Mauritius, where we'll then make our way on stand-up paddles to Ilo Benichier. Distance-wise, Benichier is about 500 meters from the mainland, and for anyone who's adventure-minded, it does make for a great activity. There's the guys. This island is approximately two kilometers long and 65 hectares in area. At its widest point, it's only about 500 meters. So yeah, it's definitely not the largest island you've ever seen. So here we go, we made it. Very shallow in the last little section. Now one wouldn't come to Benetjes for its biodiversity as it's basically a coconut plantation and there are a few filau trees as well. But that said, it is home to migratory birds and fishermen do come here to partake in some fishing. The main attraction of this place for me, besides of course getting some exercise on these sups, is that it's surrounded by a beautiful shallow sand lagoon and offers fabulous views over Le Mans. I mean, just, just look at these images, isn't it stunning? But what a stunning way to start the day. If you're not feeling up for the paddle, one can of course come by boat here, either leaving from La Belize in Black River or from the little village of La Goulette. The nice thing about the SUP is that you can explore the quieter southern part of the island. Look at the view, amazing. This is crazy shallow here. I think that took about 15 to 20 minutes, but look how worthwhile that is. Walking here is fabulous too, and if you wanted, you could go right the way around. It's busier towards the northern end, as often there are many boats that come here during the day, packed with tourists. So bring your wallet, as there are vendors here selling seashells, sarongs, that sort of thing. And you could even have a barbecue if you wanted, but that you're gonna have to book in advance. <laughs> The other must-see is Crystal Rock, which is a huge coral that juts out of the ocean. If one wanted to snorkel here, then of course you can. There are some fish to see just around this rock here. Yeah, so, so definitely pack your snorkel. But back to the supping, and this is a wonderful activity to do. And if you don't have your own sup, there are rentals on the island. I will leave links below and my best advice would be to go first thing in the morning before the wind picks up. Also take a waterproof backpack for some refreshments and off you go. Right, time to head back to the mainland. It's the hard life, you gotta beat 40 otherwise that's pretty sad. On the way there the wind was actually pushing us back a bit so it took us a bit longer than anticipated. Going back way easier because of the wind, using it for the downwind, much nicer. Not one to be defeated by a challenge, I'm absolutely determined to beat that clock. We're at the finishing line. That was a great paddle. It'll be interesting to see how long that took. 26. 26. Yay, 26 minutes on the way back, 40 <laughs> on the way there. But we'll pretend it was 15. <laughs> Well done guys, that was awesome. So never a dull moment on the island and if you're into the great outdoors, there's so much to see and do here. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you on the next one. See ya.